Hey everyone, uh, today another DIY type video. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, or the one before that, um, the boat's going to be ready in the next two weeks. Um, so there's been a bit of a rush on to get all the bits and bobs that we need for the boat, you know. And one of those things is, is rope. You need a lot of rope. Uh, mooring lines, you've got the, the, the fenders, the buttons that go at the front and rear. I'll show you them at some point once we get them. They're on order. But the fenders, uh, we've decided to make our own. Now the fenders are these items that can either be made uh, of rubber or, or foam or traditionally rope, you know, intertwined, which go along the side of the boat. So when it's moored against the side of the bank, for instance, which a lot of the time is metal or um, stone, so that the boat doesn't scrape against it, doesn't damage the paint of the boat, the black and that kind of thing. Um, and we decided to make our own, basically. Why not, you know, give it a go, it's all part of the journey. So we've been looking around, and I saw some from someone else's um, YouTube video, to be honest, that uh, a company called Tradline actually um, sell fender kits, so you can make your own. So it's enough rope for two fenders, um, they do two different colours, you can get like, the black coloured rope, which is a lot of people have, but we've decided to go for a, a manila, which is the natural coloured rope. So I think that just look a bit nicer, you know, you've got to treat it, but I'll, I'll go through that in a minute. Um, so we've ordered one of the kits, um, I've done a few, um, really enjoyed it, so we've ordered enough rope from them to make um, the rest of them. So we're going to make eight in total, so we've got, got spares if you like, so I'll show you the kit and then I'll show you how it works, okay? See you in a minute. So here's the kit we got from Tradline. You can see there's two lengths of rope, and this is the natural manila looking rope. You can see you've got a, a, a fin, or a fid, Swedish fid, that's used for getting the rope through. And you've got the instructions as well, which are really quite comprehensive. A couple of other things you will need. Um, you will need a sharp knife, a serrated knife. I'm just using a, a multi-tool for cutting the rope. Um, some electrician's tape for tying off and measuring and also a measuring device. I'm just using a tape measure. So I'll show you how it all goes together. So here's the instructions. You can see um, it actually gives you details for three, five and seven strand rope. We've actually gone for the five strand rope. That's what comes in the kit. And you can see at the start here, it says five strand. It tells you at what length to cut the rope. Three lengths of 2.2 meters one length of 4.4 and then how to measure and mark it off and then how to start. So we're going to go through that now. So first thing we need to do is cut the three lengths of 2.2 metres. Now I'm just using a tape measure here set to 100 centimetres to, to mark that out. And I'm using um, a multi-tool here with a serrated knife that tends to take quite make short work of cutting it. Uh, you could use a standing knife or a stout pair of scissors, but uh, obviously be careful with that. Then I'm using the first length I've cut uh, to mark out the subsequent two lengths. Again, there's a second one cut. I'm not gonna bother showing you the third one yet. I think you get the idea by this point. So next is marking out the one length of 4.4 meters. There's only one of these, and it's actually going to be folded in half, as you'll see in a moment. So it pretty much is the same length as everything else once you fold it over. There's not so much to take off this time. Trad lines seem to give you a little bit extra, which is good. All right, so now on to um, folding over the first length, the longest length. So you fold it in half, make a bit of a loop, and I'm clicking it into a carabiner here. This is the only thing I had, but if you can get a rotating hook, that will make your life a lot easier as you're working around the uh, fender. Next, what you have to do is connect the subsequent three shorter lengths to that one longer length. Um, by doing this, or to do this, use your hand to measure out a good hand's length there. So you can see I'm doing there. That's the bit that's gonna attach to the the boat if you like and then using the electrician's tape we are going to tape those in place as you can see as I'm doing now black tapes better I only had red there we go once you've done that you need to tape them again 
it's six inch intervals you can just see as i'm marking out there six inches so use a tape measure or ruler mark that out put your thumb where it needs to be and then using them the electrician's tape mark it out again try and keep all of the uh, the rope nice and straight there we go and then last time another six inches down you can see i'm just straightening the the, uh, the rope twines there and again using that electrician's tape to actually tape them off you can see i've actually wearing gloves as well i would certainly suggest you do this i've just got some work gloves which i cut cut the fingers off so i can use the rope uh, it makes life a lot easier on your hands especially with the the manila rope which is quite rough where to start first of all grab one of the strands any one will do make a loop Put it over your hand and with that hand get hold of the rest of the strands so you can see it going over your thumb there so that's strand number one now take strand number one put it over strand number two two over three three over four and four goes over five and five goes through the loop that you made with number one and then you just pull it through and it looks like you've made some kind of giant five-way pretzel here but it is a not i'm sure and then you just take up the slack just pushing the loose through and you can see what kind of shape it's starting to make and then just slowly start to work the, the slack through and tighten it up when you're doing this as well it's best to twist and pull because what you're doing is you're tightening the rope you're making it thinner twisting so there if you twist it the wrong way it opens if you twist it tighter it makes it smaller so when you tighten it it makes a tighter loop and then then expands and tightens up against itself as you let go so it makes a nice tight secure knot and you can see it's made quite a small tight little knot there so make that nice and tight the first one's quite important you can see what it looks like you would be able to see the bottom if i'd was better with a camera you can see half half a point there we go now basically we're doing the same thing again so grab any loop doesn't matter which one any any bit of string sorry rope over your hand again there's one goes over two goes over three goes over four and that goes over five so you're working your way around five goes again through the loop and you pull the slack through and then just take the slack up bunch it up with your hands you can see what's made that kind of pretzel shape again and then it's a matter of tightening up and as you do this it will work its way up the rope again just taking any slack up holding the rope with your, your spare hand and pulling and twisting down so you pull down as you twist make a nice strong knot and this is where the the spinning hook would have been better otherwise you've got to keep letting go to to rotate this rotate it and release the tension get the concentration on that face my am i putting the effort in there there we go and it's a case of doing this all the way to the top yeah so i'll just start one more off so again one over your hand the one goes over number two then over number three then over number four then over number five and then five goes through that loop again you can see just taking up the slack there makes your life a lot easier you bunch it up and you can see then you're just tightening it and you find you've got to work your way around when i did i've got to work my way around a few times and every time you're doing it it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter until eventually it, it just stops and it's not going to get any tighter so for the next bit i'll just speed it up a bit because you don't want to see us to do the whole lot uh, and i'll come back to you once that's finished you can see it's already starting to take shape you can see the pattern looks really good
So now it's the right length and we've got this nice hand hold of material left at the, the top to hang it. Um, we need to get rid of these loose ends. So what the instructions say is to take these and put them th through the nearest two loops, which is these two here. So this is going to go through there, pull tight and then cut off. And this will secure this end so it doesn't free and come to pieces. So this is where your, your fid comes in because this allows you to separate these two so you can pull the rope through. It's quite clever really. So basically you've just got to force this through here. See it goes through. You've got to wiggle it a bit. You can see it's just loosening the rope up a little bit. It takes a little bit of work and I think this is for me this has been the hardest hardest bit is getting the rope through. So there you go and then we take the rope Feed it through the channel, you can see there, and then get hold of it and pull it through. And you can see it's through there. And I'm going to tighten this, but I'm going to do the rest of them first, okay? So again, this one is going to go through these two. through now just tighten them that you have been doing all the way through there we go nice and tidy once we've done that all you have to do is cut off the loose ends so I'll do that with a, a, a serrated knife. I'm just using a multi-tool. There we go, nice and tidy. No loose ends, literally. It's looking really nice, solid. Squeezing that, it's obviously solid rope, so it works really quite well. So there's another one done. Got to do eight of them. Gonna end up with their uh, arms like Arnie oh, doing this. So this is ready to now treat. So we're gonna use a, 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 a wood preserve, like a fence treatment. Um, that's what was recommended by Tradline to actually soak these in and that'll help protect uh, the rope from mildew and rotting. And hopefully we'll get lots of years out of them. You can see once I've completed the, the fender, the rope actually has to be treated with it being natural manila rope it can the moisture can get to them it, it can rot it can suffer from mildew so tradline recommended that i actually treat the rope and it's it's kind of just a, a basic fence wood preserver that you dip them in so we're just using um wood preserving oil so uh we've got them steeping in there it's already steeped on one side um about half an hour on each side um, and then I've just used some cut up pop bottles here, which I'm going to use to drain it. So this one's been in long enough now, so we'll, we'll try and get this out without uh, getting preserver everywhere. This really gives it a good chance to soak in, get the best lifespan out of these I can. They're looking really nice. Got a great pattern on them with the with the way the all the ropes intertwined. Look really nice. So I'll just pop this in the bottle just while the last of that drips away. And then any of that collects in the bottom there, as you can see it's starting to collect. I, I can put back in and reuse. And then once I have that's dripped off enough, I'll hang it up here. And you can see we've already got one hanging there, one I, I did earlier so to speak and you can see anything 
left dripping off just drips into that that bucket there so it can be reused so I'll continue with the rest so there we are seven of them finished I've got very sore hands but it was really worth doing I'm, I'm very pleased that look very good uh, one of them slightly shorter than the others for some reason but there we go that's uh, the marvel of diy uh, the seven of them actually i know i said eight at the start but there's three for each side and one spare so that's them um, done um i'll put a link in the description for where i got them from from trad line um give it a go it's really good fun actually i'm really pleased with them it's nice to know that we've done them ourselves as well makes it a bit more your own um please do like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video okay Take care now. Bye-bye.